Give you my love. 
Let's mark me for the Lord. Let's appreciate Him. Let's thank Him. Father, we thank you for your goodness. Thank you for, for your mercy that we, we, that we are witnessed on, on this altar. Be glorified. Be exalted. Thank you for the command in the day. I mean, the prayers. And the, tonight, be the glorified in Jesus' name. Savannah 3 and in verse 17. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. Lift your now. As our Father tonight, we ask you that tonight that you will do mighty things from this altar. We ask, oh God, for healing. We ask, oh God, for deliverance. We ask, oh God, that you will visit your people tonight in the main name of Jesus. Lord, we are the Lord our God. Tonight you shall do mighty things from this altar to the ends of the earth in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. We pray for your servant, Lord, anoint him afresh. Grace, fresh man to him in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Adonai, because we know our prayer our answer in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's time to, to call somebody, call a friend, call a neighbor. It's the hour of prayer. And tonight, God shall be extending his healing hand to our lives and our lives shall not be the same again. Hallelujah! As we welcome the praise team to get to us further. Anybody ready to praise the living Father this evening? Come on, I have a neighbor.
connect someone to this prayer, send the link, you can also send data to someone to connect. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Please be seated in his presence. We're taking the testimonies. Hallelujah. This testimony is from Sister Esther E. Abuja. Good morning, beloved family. I want to thank the Lord for orchestrating the commanding the day midnight prayer for such a time as this. Honestly, it has made me consistent in the place of prayer, and I'm glad to pray. God healed me of excruciating waist pain that had lasted for many years. Thank you, Jesus. Some days back, a testimony of a woman was read who had genital herpes. All the symptoms were the same with what I experienced. Days to my period, I will notice painful blisters around my thighs close to my genitals. It's so painful that taking steps will look as though I'm learning how to walk. It remained and disappeared days after the period. As she shared the testimony, I thought to myself, so the name of this affliction is herpes. I was expecting my period around those days, so the blisters had already appeared. Why she testified, I placed my hands on the blisters connecting to the declaration of God's servant, Pastor Dr. Paul Enenche. And I spoke to the blisters. You just heard the man of God die to your roots and dry up. Hey, brethren, in less than four days, all have disappeared to the glory of God and I believe is permanent. Thank you, Jesus. God bless the entire crew of the Commanding the day, midnight prayer. Hallelujah. This testimony is from Mrs. S. from Canada. Good morning, my commanding the day, midnight prayer family. This altar is the best place to be. Hallelujah. It's on fire. I joined this altar on the 12th of December, 2023. And every day has been a roller coaster. Praise the Lord. My visiting visa is to expire on the 6th of April. I became troubled as I wasn't getting help extending my stay. It seemed so impossible because of the requirements. I was afraid, but pastors preaching on faith and fear did the trick. I became bold and decided to put it all on God. Then came the commanding the day midnight prayer, where pastor asked us to anoint ourselves for fresh direction and unction. I did that and began to get revelations like never before. God showed me step by step what to do. I followed the instructions and applied for an extension. The most mind-blowing was 
the reason the Holy Spirit gave me. I want to stay to experience spring. I applied on the 16th of March. I was told to go and do my medical examination on the 23rd. I got an appointment to do it today, 27th of March. Yesterday, God's servant put structures under pressure and said, by this morning, we shall begin to see the results of the prayers. Boom! Ola, ola, ola. I woke up this morning by 4.30 a.m. and got my extension approved. I haven't even done the medical examination. Jesus, yeah, this is the place to be. The songs on this altar alone cause healing, deliverance, and give directions. Awesome. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you hearing something here today? You have a visa that has expired. Normal thing is you return back to renew your visa at home or the deport, whatever. And then you now apply for extension and say, reason for a stain. He says, so I can experience spring. That is no reason. But it was approved. I prophesy to somebody here today. God will give you the miraculous where it appears like the ridiculous. He will Amen. use the ridiculous to give you the miraculous. Give the Lord a praise as you take your seat. Hallelujah. Please, wherever you are this moment, reach out to someone. Tell the person to tell another person to get connected. Commanding the day midnight prize on. Very quickly, we'll take another testimony tonight from Daniel G.A. from Abuja. Good morning to the commanding the day prayer, midnight prayer family. Indeed, this God answers prayers. Oh, I have come to return all glory to God for all the great things he has done for me and my family. First, he has restored my prayer life through the commanding the day midnight prayer. Secondly, at the beginning of the year, the servant of God, Dr. Pastor Paul Lenenche, had instructed us to write our testimonies the way we would like to say it. Brethren, I did, oh, I wrote, I am here to thank God for a high-paying job that pays in U.S. dollar and is ten times my current salary. To God be the glory, I completed all five stages of interview for an international organization in January 2024. And on March 21, 21st, 2024, I got the job offer exactly as I wrote it. The organization is based in Switzerland. My starting salary is in US dollars, and it is 10 times more than my current pay, which is already in six figures. 10 times six figures. Yes, sir. This is so scary. I never thought he would honor me this way. Indeed, God is using his servants through this platform to do wondrous miracles. May God continue to bless the work of your hand, sir and ma, and the entire commanding the day midnight crew. Praise the Lord. We have the job offer letter here displayed. Incredible. Yes, sir. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. God is going to give you something. That is 10 times better than where you are currently. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. This one is from Daniel, all the way from Joss. Above only, that is my place. Senior Pastor, Dr. Pastor Paul, Dr. Paul Enenche prophesied during the 1st of February 2024, commanding the day midnight prayer, that there is a shift in level. There is a Daniel that is experiencing that, and there is a Jacob that is experiencing that shift. The devil tied you down for a long time and made your life look like a mockery as if you are serving God for nothing. And suddenly your life is being shifted. Hey! Hey! I have noticed a shift in my monthly turnover from seven digits to eight digits. Hey! The days of mockery are over. Glory be oh, to God. Da, 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 da. Something is happening here. Yes, sir. Declaration video is also attached. Let's have that quickly. There is a Daniel that is experiencing there. There is a Jacob that is experiencing there. There is a Daniel that is experiencing there. There is a Jacob that is experiencing this shift. The devil tied you down for a long time and make your life a mockery. As if, it, as if you are serving God for nothing. 
and suddenly your life is being shifted and what i say to one god says i say to all the devil has tied you down for a long time and made your life appear like a mockery i announce to you today jehovah is shifting you up shout aloud amen everyone who believes in that shift stand on your feet and let's celebrate the king of kings you believe in a shift comfortably seated in the name of Jesus. Wake up your friends, your neighbors, your loved ones, your children, your husband, your wife. Wake somebody up because somebody's miracle is tied to this night. Praise the Lord. God is about to give flourishing. You can hear the testimonies already, uh, already in that line. And I know that yours will be the next in Jesus' name. These are people talking about six figures, seven figures, eight figures, 10 figures. I don't know about you, but you are shifting your realms. You are shifting in Jesus' name. Let's take a look at some testimonies. Brother AKC from South Africa says, Above only, that is my place. Greetings to the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer crew. He's a Nigerian living in South Africa. He joined this prayer altar in February 2024 through his elder sister, who sent him the link. God bless you, elder sister. Do more. He has been suffering from rising and falling, and this has made him indebted to many people, which also resulted in his separation from his family. On the 8th of March, Pastor mentioned his case. He said everything, he said everything as if he knew him personally, even though he didn't mention his name. And that's what we keep on saying. Please be ready to receive your intervention, whether your name is specifically mentioned or not. Because the words are very, very available for everyone watching. Praise the Lord. Let's go ahead. And so, the one that broke him down was when he said that there is a boy, 12 to 13 years old, suffering with one testicle. He commanded the second one to be restored. He shouted because that was his son he was, refer he was referring to. This condition had caused him excruciating pains. People of God, he called his wife and spoke to his son. And he said, everything is normalized. Hey! God has never been so real to him. Surgery, he could not afford for his son. He did it for him. God did it for him. He sowed the seed wow. to seal the testimonies. God bless you all for all you do. He will be back for more testimonies. God bless that you. Is God literally brought back that second testicle. Yes, sir. That's what this testimony means. Let's hear the declaration. Arrested development in the child. Undescended testicle. 12, 13. Only one testicle. Now, the second one is released. Sleep, you wake up, you see it, and you will testify. 
my goodness. Wow. My goodness. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud a shout of praise. Hallelujah. So real, so fast, so cheap by his mercies. Wow. Glory to God. Mr. Z from Lokoja in Nigeria says, above only that is my place. He gives thanks to God for his mercies and grace in his life and his family. He also wishes to express his sincere gratitude to the Commanding the Day prayer team. He was introduced to the group early in December 2023. Before he joined the prayer group, he had an abdominal pain, mostly in the night, for over 28 years. Initially, umbilical hernia was diagnosed and a surgical operation was done, but the pains persisted extending to the lower back just above his waist. This time around, he was diagnosed of ulcer. He got to the peak of the crisis when he packed into his personal house sometime last year. As he goes through the pain every night, a group of owls will also disturb them every night. This continued until two weeks back during the commanding the day prayers. He prayed over the abdominal pain and the birds during the personal supplication. And boom, one of the owls flew over the roof of his house and the trees around his house, which they had earlier anointed. It fell and could not fly again until it died. Shortly after this incident, all the other birds left their area. They advised themselves. Right. Hey, they advise themselves, bros, if you don't want to die, you better let's check out of here. And all the other evil birds left their area. Immediately the evil birds left, the pains that he had been going through every day in the night started vanishing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wow. Every evil arrow fashioned against you and every evil monitoring birds around you, they are dissipated from your life today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Sister A.O. from Taraba says, above only, that is my place. She wants to appreciate the name of the Lord for these wonderful testimonies. On the 23rd of March, 2024, she started having severe epigastric pains accompanied with diarrhea. It was so terrible that even after taking oral medications, the pains persisted and she kept throwing up. She was taken to a nearby medical facility for some IM injections. It relieved her for a while, but the pain still persisted. Then she called a friend of hers to tell him what was happening, only for him to tell her that he was having epistaxis, that is nose bleeding, and the bleeding refused to stop. She was worried and she was like, what's going on today? So during the commanding the day midnight prayer, the senior pastor declared that there is someone with a nasal condition and is being healed. Immediately she called her friend's name and she said, Immediately, she called her friend's name and she said amen to the declaration on his behalf. She then called to confirm this afternoon and he said the bleeding has stopped. The senior pastor also declared and took authority over the epigastric affliction. That was for her. That was for her, oh. She woke up this morning and the pain was no longer there. It has returned to hell. Thank you, Jesus. She believes God will visit her and her family and she will soon come back again and share more ear-tingling testimonies. God bless you all. Declarations attached. Somebody with a nasal condition, an ear, nose, and throat condition is being healed right now. Whatever it is, whatever is the reason for that congestion, whether it's allergy, whether it's sinusitis, whether it's a nasal polyp, I declare it cleaned out right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I take authority over that gastric affliction. That gastric affliction. Whether it's a gastric ulcer, a gastric cancer, the growth of a tumor today. It dies and dries right now Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Back to back. God is about to give somebody your own testimonies. Bear the word of God that shall come through the mouth of his servant today in Jesus' name. Let's Amen. take a look at one more testimony. 
Mrs. Yu Emmanuel from Borno State says, Greetings, commanding the day midnight prayer family. She was introduced to this prayer altar by her cousin in January 2024. Before she was introduced to the prayers, she was having serious pain in her right breast and she could feel a particular place was very hard. During one of the prayers, the man of God, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche, prayed over cancers and made a declaration saying, What killed your parents will not kill you. She held on to that word because three of her aunties died of cancer. Oh. After prayer that night, she was sleeping when a man entered her room and removed everything from the removed breast. Something. And removed something from the breasts and told her to go wash it in the sink and see. She uh, Im she immediately left the room to the kitchen. She washed it and saw something whitish. She looked at it and said, so this is what has been giving her that serious pain. Immediately she woke up from the sleep and behold, the pain was nowhere to be found. God be praised forever. To him alone be the glory. Hallelujah. That was how the cancer that killed others disappeared from that woman forever. I announce again what killed others will never kill you. You are saying amen, shout the Lord say amen. Can we celebrate the King of Kings? Celebrate. Anybody excited with what God is doing in our midst? Shout the loudest, Amen. Incredible, incredible testimonies. He says it and does it, then does it and says it. Almighty, mighty, mighty God. Wake somebody up and let them know we are here in the command of the day night prayers. And it's a most explosive, exciting time in God's presence. Psalm 118, verse 24. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. John chapter 10 and in verse 10. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for this day, for this day you, have for us, you have made for us to rejoice in. To rejoice thank, in. Thank, you thank you also for the gift, for the gift of abundant of life. Abundant be glorified, O oh Lord, Lord, in the name of in Jesus. Name of Go Jesus. ahead, open your mouth and pray. In Jesus precious name Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and in verse 22 the Bible said, and the Lord showed signs and wonders, great and saw, upon Egypt, upon Pharaoh, and upon all his household before our eyes. We have seen witches perished. We have seen all manner of signs and wonders before our very eye. I say these things are not as difficult as people thought. That God can say it and you see the answer on the spot. That 
Uh, that is not just diagnosis, but diagnosis with instant treatment. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, thank you for your mighty acts of power in miracles, signs, and wonders on this prayer altar. Be glorified, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, lift your voice and pray. In Jesus' precious name. Hebrews chapter 12 and in verse 24. The Bible said unto Jesus the mediator of the new covenant. And to the blood of the sprinkling. That speaketh better things than the blood of Jesus. Tonight the blood of Jesus is a speaking. Is, the blood of Jesus is a speaking blood. It's a speaking voice. And his assignment is to silence every contrary voice. Every voice of any other speaking blood, the blood of Jesus came to silence it. Amen. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father we establish Father, the defeat Father, and subjection Father, of every rising Father, voice Father, of darkness Father, against your acts in our midst. We silence them by the voice of the blood of the Lamb in the name of Jesus. Again, say, Father, we establish the defeat and subjection of every rising voice of darkness against your acts in our midst in my life we silence i silence them by the voice of the blood of the lamb in jesus name pray Jesus precious name are you re ready to receive this every altar speaking against your life every sacrifice in the realm of the waters on the mountains every sacrifice of any animal anywhere they sacrifice and there is a voice speaking against your destiny by the speaking voice of the blood of the lamb we declare their voices are silenced amen. if you are saying amen shout the Lord and say amen, amen. If you are saying amen, shout the Lord will say amen. amen. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 24, the one we just read. And now Genesis chapter 35 and in verse 5. He said, and they journeyed. Everybody read it with me. One, two, go. And they journeyed. And the terror of God was upon the cities that were around. And they did not pursue after the sons of Jacob. The climate of the terror of God is around your life. Amen. Pursuers will run whenever they hear your name. Amen. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father I, step I step into this new day, this new day. With, the with the climate of the terror of the, terror. Of the, Lord, of the Lord to subdue, to subdue every, enemy every enemy hostility, hostility in, the day, in the day in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Say, Father, Father I, step I step into this new day, this new day. with the climate of the terror of the Lord to subdue every enemy hostility in the day in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray.
in Jesus precious name in the book of Proverbs chapter 19 verse 21 it said there are many devices in the man's heart nevertheless the counsel of the Lord that shall stand in Lamentation chapter 3 and in verse 37 he said who is he that saith and he cometh to pass when the Lord commanded it not lift your voice and say after me say father, father I, declare I declare this day, this day as, the day as the day of divine verdict against, against every enemy decree in, in the name of Jesus now this is the point everything the devil and their witches decreed against you today they shall be cancelled by the verdict of God Amen. He said, who is he that said and it coming to pass when the Lord commanded it not? Lift your voice again and say, Father, Father I, declare I declare this day, this day as, my day as my day of divine verdict, of divine verdict against, against enemy decree. Enemy decree. In, the In the name of Jesus. Divine verdict. Divine verdict. The verdict of God verdict of neutralizes, neutralizes and nullifies the verdict <laughs> of the enemy <laughs> against my life today. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' precious name, the verdict of hell is cancelled. Psalm 32 and in verse 8, he said, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eyes. Today, Jehovah guides you and you will not miss your steps. In Psalm 23 and in verse 1 to 2, he said, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. There is still waters for somebody. And what is yours today, you shall locate them. Amen. Say after me, say, Father, Father I take full delivery, take full delivery of, all of all that you have in store, have in store. for me today. For I receive, I receive guidance, guidance and supply on all sides all today, Lord, today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Say, Father, Father, I take full delivery. Of all that you have in store for me today, I receive guidance and supplies on all sides today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 3, verse 4 to 6. Everybody read it together. One, two, go. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. Sila. I laid me down and slept. I await, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Lift your voice and say, Father, thank you for hearing our cry on this altar today. Thank you, Lord, for speedy answers in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, thank you for hearing our cry on this altar today. Thank you, Lord, for speedy answers. Oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray.
Jesus precious name. Amen. Psalm 9 verse 19 to verse 20. Everybody read it again. Want to go. This is the portion of those who will not let you rest. Amen. Want to go. Arise, O oh Lord. Let not man prevail. Let be joined in thy sight. Put them in fear, O oh Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. God will do something to people that will cause them to know that they are not God. Amen. That person that is trying to play God in your life, in this season, God will make them know that they are not God. Amen. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father. say, Arise, Arise. O oh Lord. Oh Lord, let not the wicked man prevail today. Prevail today. Let them be joy in your sight. Bring them to the point of realization that they are mere mortals. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Jesus, precious name. Amen. The Lord heard and answered us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lamentation chapter 3, verse 34 to 37. Everybody read it together. I want to go. To crush under his feet all the prisoners of the earth. To turn aside the right of a man before the most of the most high. To subvert a man in his cause. The Lord hath proven not. 37. Who is he that saith it? And it cometh to pass when the Lord. Joel chapter 2 and verse 3. Read it together. I want to go again. A fire burned right before them and behind them a flame burned. The land is a little of Eden before them and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yeah, and nothing to escape them. Somebody say it loud. Amen. There are altars of discouragement, altars of despair, altars that make people want to give up on God. That is about to be set on fire tonight. Amen. Altars of depression. Altars also of delay. What should have happened long ago? Delay. Hear this. Before three days. That delay is confirmed expire. Amen. And the release is here. Amen. Altars of diversion. Disease, destruction, death. We set them on fire tonight. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father. Father. We ask Father. for the release, for the release. Of, the of the fire. Of your judgment. Of your on every enemy altar of discouragement, despair, despre depression, delay, diversion, disease, destruction, or premature death. We set them on fire. No! In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray, pray, pray. Jesus precious name. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 21 all the way to verse 22. I'm sure we can with communion tonight, right? Alright. Read it together. I want to go. For the heart of the daughter of my people are my heart. I am black. Astonishment has taken hold on me. Is there no bad in killing? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? Answer is there is a bam in Gilead, and there is the great physician there. 
And because there is a bam in Gilead, and there is a the great physician there, the heart of the people shall be nullified. Amen. The pain of the people shall evaporate. Amen. Lift your voice now and say after me. So, oh, bam in Gilead. Oh, Oh physician, oh, physician in Gilead, in Gilead. Arise. arise, heal the heart, repair the health of your people here today in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. Jesus. The Lord heard, he answered us. You believe that shall the Lord say amen. Joel chapter 3 and in verse 14. Joel. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. These multitudes will receive them in Jesus name. Lift your voice and say father we ask for the harvest of the multitude in the valley of decision. Oh Lord in the name of Jesus. Father we ask for the harvest of the multitude in the valley of decision. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. We ask for the harvest. Lord heard and answered us in Jesus name. Amen. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Celebrations. Let's go. Lord, a shout of praise. The Lord will give you abundant reasons to dance after tonight. That amen is too anemic. That's right. Today, I declare that low blood level is arrested. Now, command the blood level to shift, to become normal. PCV can't be 9%. That is not compatible with life. 
Jesus precious name it's over check yourself and let us know today give the Lord a praise take your seat in the presence of the Lord wake up somebody right now and let them know that command the day midnight prayer is on very soon we shall be in personal supplications let's go and hear some mind blowing testimonies Ibrahim Jeremiah he from Abuja Calvary greeting to the Dunamis family and also the command the day midnight prayer team I am here to give thanks to God for the prophetic declaration over my life through his servant. My word came on the 5th of March, 2024 of the commanded day midnight prayers of divine direction, guidance and divine ideas. Where the senior pastor declared, and I quote, that person with the pentazosin addiction. You are hooked just for the sake of killing the pain. I don't know the pain, what it, it was, whether it's for sickle cell or something, but suddenly he became hooked to pentazosin. Multiple injections here and there. That is me. I was born with sickle cell anemia and I became addicted to this injection due to the severe joint pains. Time will not permit me to mention several bone issues and illnesses I have suffered. I have come to return all the glory to the Lord Almighty as it has been two weeks and still counting that I took this injection last and I'm very, very okay. I pray it remains permanent in Jesus' name. I will surely return with more testimonies of God's permanent healing from SS genotype to AA. Ibrahim Jeremiah was going to tell you that. That in the name of Jesus, the God who has delivered you from the pentazosin addiction now completely heal you of that spirit and demon of inheritance and clear your genotype from SS to AA in the name of Jesus. He's talking about job and financial breakthrough among many others. May the name of the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Declaration attached. Two weeks of addiction deliverance. Go. Let's go. That person with a pentazosin addiction, you are hooked. Let the friend just for the sake of killing the pain. I don't know the pain or what it was, whether it's a sickle cell pain or something. But suddenly, you became hooked to pentazosin. Multiple injections here and there. I declare that addiction is broken. broken. Somebody say louder, amen. Everyone watching from all over the world, every form of addiction in your life is broken right now. Give the Lord a big clap of hands. Broken in the name of Jesus. Let's go. FI from Katsina, above only that is my place. Allah, 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 Allah. Truly, God is working on this prayer altar on the 23rd of March 2024. My case was mentioned by God's servant. He said, There is a lady whose name starts with F, with a back condition and spinal condition. That is me. I was operated three times on my back last year. 2023 20, due to this condition. After the third surgery, my sister introduced me to this prayer altar in January 2024. And since then I've been participating, even though some days I used to miss it, due to the effect of the drug that caused drowsiness. To the glory of God, I'm okay now, walking and sitting properly which I couldn't do before now because of that. For more than a year, I was unable to go to church or go to work. Glory be to God for the healing. For healing me, I received it. Thank you, Master Jesus. I'm believing God that I'll come back very soon with another testimony of restoration of all that I lost in life due to this affliction in Jesus' name. May his name continue to be exalted and glorified. In Jesus' name, amen. Sister F. I from Katrina and every other person in this category of testimonies. Just do us the favor next time. When you, 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 just, you must have the picture of how it was before. When you couldn't move and all of that. And then just how you are now. Because you say you are moving up and down. Let's have such pictures to fully authenticate the testimony. And we believe that that will raise the faith of more people to know the power of God. It's not too late for Sister FI to do that. God bless you. Let's hear the declaration. There is a lower back and spine condition with a lady whose name starts with an F. Lower back and spine condition. I declare that back and spine condition over right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord a big clap of hands, somebody. All right, let's go to the next one. This is Sister Deborah from Lagos. Greetings to all Dynamics members. Indeed, God is real here and even the devil is aware. <laughs> On the 18th of February, my stepfather that we took from home to come stay with us in Ogun State because he needed to work in Lagos, got missing. A whole father missing. 
He went out to charge his phone and left the phone where he went to charge it and didn't come back home. We don't know what happened to him because he was used to going there to charge his phone. We tried looking for him, no way. So a friend of mine introduced this prayer altar to me and I joined. Two days later, which was on the 3rd of March, my word came. God used his servant to mention my case that he sees the reunion that is happening. Someone that is lost or someone that was taken out of his home, disconnected from his family, is reunited. Immediately, I knelt down and began to appreciate God. I've been using that declaration to pray since that day, believing that we will find him. Ha! People of God, indeed God is faithful. On the 23rd of March, he was found by my younger sister alive. After over one whole month of diligent search, only God could have done this. I am not taking it for granted. I'm here to thank you, to say thank you, Lord. Allah, 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 Allah. Declaration attached. I see a reunion that is happening. Somebody that was lost or somebody that is missing or somebody that took away from home and they have not disconnected from a family. Alive or death, nobody knew. I declare today it is a supernatural, mysterious reunion. Hey, hey. Come on, God, 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 God. Under the next 72 hours, I declare mysterious reunion. Reunion of father with children. Hey. Reunion of children with family. Hey. Father, father, father. Mother that abandoned children like an ostrich. In the name of Jesus, I declare reunion right now. In the name of Jesus. Devil, are you, are, you, are you aware that God did? Wow. Let's go to the next one. The same story will happen to someone. Whoever is missing around you, we declare them found in Jesus' name. Good evening, great people of God. I, I join commanding the day midnight prayer. All time the 28th of February, 2024. And ever since then, I've been following up and trusting God for my own word to come. My own word came on the 24th of March. When the senior pastor, Dr. Paul Enenche said, anyone owing you and has refused to pay three months, six months, one year, three years, five years, they will not sleep or rest until they pay you your money. They will call you to ask for your bank details. And he said, in fact, send them a message. And the message will be like this. I am empowered to ask you to pay me my money. <laughs> or else you will lose 10 times what you took from me and you will still pay me with an apology. Really? Did I say that that one should be included? Wow. Immediately I keyed into the world because I knew it was time. After the prayers, I sent the test message to someone that was owing me 300000 for the past three years. That Sunday night, he didn't reply. And the next day, 25th of March, Dr. Paul and Angel gave the word again. After reading a brother's testimony who has sent the message as instructed, I immediately sent the message again the way pastor said it. Only for me to wake up this morning and I saw his response from a different line. This is someone that has not called me for three years, sir. He used a different line to send me a message on WhatsApp that I should send my bank details. Yeah. And he sent me half of the money, 150K out of 300K, that I should ask the second person that we ought to do the business together to send me the balance. I repeated the message. <laughs> the message again to him. I think that it was in the second bank I gave the money to, but him. And he should and so he pays me the remaining balance then when he sees the second person he should collect the money from him he then promised to pay me the balance once he has the money there is a god on this prayer altar oh god bless you sir declaration attached <laughs> and there is a category of people god is setting free tonight you gave money to people on trust to do things for you buy me a house buy me a car fully trusted and they have failed you. Betrayed trust. Betrayed confidence. And it has hurt you and pained you. But I am here to announce your money won't be lost. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Be lost. I declare that those systems are put under pressure. Uh, they will lose their sleep beginning from tonight. Uh, and lose their peace. Uh, and lose their rest. Until what is yours is delivered to you. For someone, before this week is out, the debtor will call you. I'm sorry for holding your money for three months, for six months, for one year, for three years, for five years. 
pay. I declare they lose their peace, they lose their sleep, and they lose their rest until what is yours is released. For somebody here, you're not going to wait for them to call you. As the day breaks, you send them, even this night, send them the message. <laughs> Say, I, am, I, have been, I have been empowered to ask you for either my money or what I gave you the money for with immediate effect. And I declare they lose their peace until what is yours is released. And any of them that has a criminal mind to dupe you and defraud you, they will lose 10 times what they are trying to defraud you of and yet still return you your money. Okay. That second part, the people added it by themselves. <laughs> Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Stand up on your feet and let's celebrate the King of Kings. Let's celebrate the King of Kings for one, one, one minute. One, one, one. Before God and appreciate him for tonight. Let's honor him. And then go ahead. Present your personal supplication. Let's go. In Jesus' name, the Lord has heard and answered. Can we stand up on our feet and let's lift up our hands? 
to your house. You're in need of healing, in need of deliverance, whatever miracle you're in need of, lift your hands high. There is a bomb in Gilead. There is a physician there. Everywhere you have an affliction, you have a pain, you have a condition, please play, place your hand there and I'll pray for you. Father, I take authority today by the authority of the bomb in Gilead over the spirit of infirmity, the spirit of mortality, the spirit of death. I take authority over the spirit of epilepsy, blindness, deafness, dumbness, every paralyzing condition, the spirit of cancers. I take authority over every arrow of attack from hell, every inherited disease, every witchcraft disease, occultic plantings in the body. I arrest you moving objects in the body, internal heat conditions. Your tenor expires. Lose your grip of this life. Get out in the name of Jesus. I declare the healing of blind eyes now. Retinal detachment, cataract, glaucoma, astigmatism. Occultic blindness, witchcraft blindness. I take authority over every form of deafness, conduction deafness, nerve deafness. Ear, nose, and throat conditions, nasopharyngeal tumors, nasal polyps. I take authority over rhinitis, rhinosinusitis. I take authority over every mouse, tela, faratana, pharyngitis. I take authority, that's why there's a cancer of the voice box. I curse it, it cause you to lose your voice. I curse that cancer, die right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody with a tracheostomy tube right there. I declare divine intervention right now. I take authority over that goiter. I curse you to die, tyrotoxicosis and tyrotoxic goiter. Lose your grip of this person now in the name of Jesus. While I speak, the power of God will come on you where you are. 
and, and, and fire will be and, and fire is burning right now on the chest of somebody fibrosis wherever the cystic fibrosis is coxed disease pulmonary tuberculosis bronchitis bronchiectasis I take authority over this intractable pneumonia that is failing to be healed. I curse you. Lose your grip now. Get out. Even in that little child that is on oxygen, I command that pneumonia to clear out of the system. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over angina pectoris, ischemic heart disease, myocarditis, bacterial carditis, leucepara nagala dilated cardiomyopathy left ventricular failure right ventricular failure congestive cardiac failure i take authority right now i command every demon of death that is holding this heart hypertensive heart failure and hypertension i curse you get out in the name of jesus be healed i declare healing for every form of liver disease i rebuke you hepatitis a b c let us liver cirrhosis fatty liver lecosa primary liver cell cancer cholangiocystic carcinoma Hepatocellular carcinoma. I curse you. Let a fat biliary atresia in that child. Leperetina galayata sadagavayatosa. Leperete say, I arrest you. I arrest your power. Get out in the name of Jesus. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Be healed. I take authority over nephrotic syndrome in a little child. Blown up. Take authority over glomerulonephritis. Nephritis. I take authority over every form of nephroblastoma. I cause every kidney based cancer. I take authority. Ah, I take authority over every form of chronic kidney disease. I take authority over renal failure. Lose your grip, or oh, you devil. Get out in the name of Jesus. I declare overnight, that's right, for everyone that is trusting God for a body spare part, God is giving you your parts overnight. In the name of Jesus. Ureteric stricture. Healed posterior urethral valve. In that child again, I command you to be healed. In the name of Jesus. Urinary bladder tumor. Cystitis, be healed right now. Urethra stricture, benign prosthetic hyperplasia, and every form of prosthetic tumor and cancer. I curse you to your roots. Dry up and die right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout glory! I take authority over every ovarian disease. Uterine disease, polycystic ovary syndrome. I curse you to your roots. Blocked fallopian tubes, endometriosis, adenomyosis, and every form of atoka la parana kakatakalashte leke peparana nanana jata mayomas. I curse you to your roots. Dry up in the name of Jesus. In Master Kola Gadagala, hyperprolactinemia, let a fetal capitary tumors affecting that. I curse you to your roots in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Right now, I take authority over every form of musculoskeletal system disease and cancers of the skin, squamous cell carcinoma. I take authority over Kaposis sarcoma, malignant melanoma. I rebuke you. I curse you. You are a demon. You have no place in the body of a human being. I curse you. Get out in the name of Jesus. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet be healed. Every form of paralyzing disease, muscular dystrophy, 
I rebuke you. I rebuke every trace of motor neuron disease, systemic lupus erythematosus, disseminated lupus. You have no place in the body of the people. Graves disease. Multiple sclerosis. I curse you. Lose your grip right now. I release fire on you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Cushion syndrome. Addison's disease. And all form of tumors of the endocrine glands command you to be healed afflictions there be healed in the name of jesus and from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet the lord clean you out all forms of infectious diseases hiv aids human papilloma virus i curse you i curse you i curse you hepatitis abv ikopa abc leperete sunagalaya tatatata jata kalala every intractable streptococcal infection that has tormented your reproductive system i curse them to dry and die in the name of jesus from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet you are healed tonight god is releasing healing spirits that shall perform surgeries and remove things from systems overnight in your dreams diverse encounters and you wake up healed and you wake up whole in the name of jesus if whatever was troubling you was not mentioned or the category of it i declare whatever category has not been mentioned i declare that they be cleaned out now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus all forms of spinal conditions lower back conditions upper back conditions cervical spondylosis deep degeneration lumbar stenosis i declare healing right now codaiquina syndrome your tenure expired sciatica i curse you every form of nerve pain die now in the name of jesus Oh, and now, your life is not in the hand of a witch. No wizard can determine your destiny. The witchcraft coven that sat on your destiny tonight, they are set on fire. That spider web attack that you experience all the time, tonight it is set on fire. That razor marks you feel on your body, tonight I declare the marks are erased completely and forever. In the name of Jesus. Near success syndrome. See yourself climbing the bicycle all the time and riding uphill and not being able to climb and climbing to the top and then you drop down. The last time you saw that shall be the last forever. Every demon of backwardness, primary school, uh, dreams of school of 15 years ago, 20 years ago, old compound in a town you lived before. Yes, I see somebody you lived in the town of Joss before and you kept on seeing yourself right in that place around the gentle where you live. I take authority over that demonic spirit that takes you back to that place where you remember your poverty. I declare it is broken. Your own is to be to go every night. Every altar that is pulling you back there, every altar that is pulling you back there, I declare that altar is set on fire right now. Is set on fire right now. Is set on fire. I see somebody, the way you were hawking on the street when you were a little child, you still see yourself as an adult hawking on the street in the dream. I declare that devil is arrested. You are free. Lift up your hands. And give him the praise. We have to tithe your money. And if only has not come, I declare his release. I hear the name of Owo Blow. Should be a nickname. Whether the real name is Owo Labi or whatever. But Owo Blow, a Koparati city. Lekos Maratana Salalalashto. Rostock Kalayana. I see you like that man that is sitting at a beautiful gate. Progress is happening all around you. But you sat on the same spot. Movement is happening all around you, but you start on the same spot. Tonight, I am anointed to tell you like Peter and John, rise up and walk. I don't know whether you are paralyzed physically. Rise up and move. I command you to move right now. In the name of Jesus, I curse also already. Lower back is healed and right ear is healed. 
your name cannot be flourish and you are perishing i take authority over that demon around that person whose name is flourish and everything around you is dryness Higher. and because there is a verdict of a man over your life a human being a verdict a pronouncement over your life and all of a sudden with intelligence you began to descend in life today is the end of it all I, you say what i say to one i say to all everyone here today everything around you seem to be perishing and yet you are a child of god he say you shall flourish i declare today whoever spoke a word against your life that is making your life to look like that that word returns back to sender and your days of flourishing are here the tooth condition that started before you entered the prayer. Check it now, it's gone. Just check it now. Lower jaw on the left is gone before this service in the name of Jesus. I saw Joseph with an upper right abdominal condition around the liver area. I see your healing right now in the name of Jesus. And everyone with that kind of condition, it is over. Then I'm seeing Jacob Joseph. It's the name. As if the person's name is Jacob and then the father's name is Joseph. All right. I don't know if it's the same Joseph, but Jacob, Joseph, with a high blood pressure. Also, it's an inherited, an inherited hypertension. I declare today that that blood pressure is crashed down to, is to normal in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And the person I'm talking about seems to have a suspension from your place of work or something. I don't know what it is, but in the name of Jesus, as God brings down this blood pressure, the, you are recalled to your place in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout power. Somebody from Mopa in Kogi State. With a breast lump. Whether you are there right now, or you are from that place, but you have a breast lump. Afraid that it is cancer. Now it is gone. In the name of Jesus. The witchcraft of your community and your family will not tamper with your destiny. They will not tamper with your future. Hear me. The way others die, you can't die like that. And I am speaking to somebody here. The way others died in your family, you cannot die like that. The way others die in your community, you cannot die like that. You are a, you are, you, are, you, are, you believe that shout the Lord the same man. E L E G B E. The name has it has a completion. A letter, a letter something. E L E G B E. With a hip condition, a right hip condition. Wako spirit and a kalafina kalataranika zoso. Rocko satafete kalataradara. Who is he that's said the thing and it coming to pass? When the Lord commanded it not. I declare that arrow retrieved, refired back to hell. I declare also the satanic attack on your marital destiny. Arrested and refired back to hell. And anyone, anywhere you are watching with a physical affliction in your body. And the devil is also attacking your marriage, your family or your destiny in any realm. The attack is over forever in the name of Jesus. And the Lord showed me somebody in sickle cell bone pain crisis. Right in the cross. Of this broadcast right now sickle cell bone pain crisis hey I am anointed to tell you now one that pain is gone forever number two SS changes to AA the spirit of inheritance is arrested sickle cell devil is arrested in the name of Jesus Christ and for everyone here tonight the communion you are going to take. Whatever my father in heaven has not planted in your body, it shall be flushed out of your system as you take the body and the blood of the Lord. There shall be eruption of testimonies overnight. Please bring them all in. You know what we're going to do? If we have like 20 breast lumps disappeared, we'll just mention so and so person, so and so person, so and so, and so that your, your, your testimony can come. But ensure that you give the testimony. So lift up your hands. Everywhere you are, there is a tosis of the right eye of someone who is saying, Lord, I need my healing. That is the, the right eye is closed by itself. You can, when you want to open the eye, only the left will open. Only the left will open. Right now, I command that tosis of the, 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 the paralysis of the extraocular muscles of the right eye. I command your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Receive life and strength. I command the eye open now. In Jesus' name. Send us the testimony 
it is done. Wherever you are in need of surrender to Jesus, you want your sins forgiven, place your hand on your chest where you are, pray this prayer after me and say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life and make me a new person. Today I have decided to follow you, Lord, and no turning back. Forward ever, backward never. I receive the grace to live for you and to do your will. Thank you, Master. In Jesus' precious name. Somebody say aloud, Amen. It is done. Now stretch your two hands in front of you. I prophesy upon your hands. Your harvest will look for you. What is yours? No devil shall keep it back. In Jesus' name. Amen. Having done that, once we are through completely, those who pray the prayer of surrender, send us your messages and let us know you pray that prayer just now. I just feel a flow of fire. How many of you felt it? How many of you felt that something just left? Just left. Just, just, just force. Just fire left. We'll hear your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. And six zeros, seven zeros, eight zeros, nine zeros before Saturday, the system will come under pressure and release it into your hands in the name of Jesus. Get ready for a troop of a, 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 a troop of patronage in your direction. Very soon, in days, what you have in, your, in stock in your show is going to be emptied away. Somebody shout the, shout the loudest, amen. And somebody gets there because spiritual fire is coming upon you. You are desiring gifts and graces from God so strong. Overnight, there shall be a touch and something shall change. Say a loud amen. Let's take the communion. You pray that prayer. Somebody here, you're, you spoke the word to her. She lived in just over 20 years ago. And every time, so frequently, she sees herself in Joss. She hasn't been to Joss again after that 20 years. Wow. She sees herself. She's wondering, what is she doing here? What is and she this doing? is just the word that came just yes, now. Sir. She traveled all the way to be in Abuja here. Come forward here. This was what she I just, did. She just this was what I did in Kaduna, isn't it? Fire. While, while the... Like what do you call it? The command, what the command crusade was going, was going on, on and commanded the people came out who were alive there. Yes, sir. Now we have the evangelism department here tonight, and some foreign delegates who came in, and some travelers. In case you are saying, Why wouldn't they allow me to come for commanding the day? And others are coming. You will come on Friday night. Friday night, Ron Kennelly is here. All of us are here, and it's commanding the day. The day. May God pray. Allah. Lift up your hands. Every altar that is taking you back, fire! of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus what is pulling you back to your community back in just where you lived it's over back in her own where she also lived Jesus in the name of Jesus stand up on your feet and lift up your hands I beg you in case you are tempted to come tomorrow wait till Friday Friday come live and come in person and the Lord bless you in Jesus' precious name. These people are people that traveled. They traveled to be here. They traveled all the way. Now, if we say, if you say people are, that travel, somebody may leave here and go to Lagos and then travel back for the. <laughs> <laughs> if it is travelers, I'll just go and travel. Foreign delegates in the hotel, foreign delegates in the guest house. Hallelujah! Somebody give the Lord the praise. Your hands are blessed. Take the communion in your hands. Celebrations by your blood, O oh Lord. By your blood. By your blood. Everybody, body, 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the blood. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you for the blood. 
This communion taps into your body. Everything that is ungodly, whether it is a negative habit or sinful habit, infirmity, near success syndrome, spirit husband, spirit wife, spirit children, spirit uncle, spirit cousin, spirit mother, whatever it is that is not of God in your life, they are flushed out spell of poverty and empty handedness flushed out. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Shout the Lord and say Amen. While we take this communion, I see us taking another communion tomorrow. And I will explain to you. Tomorrow is a family night. I prayed for a man whose father was wealthy before. But the father crashed down. Listen carefully. The father crashed down until he became zero and everything about the father's identity was lost. So I prayed for him. And it became public. His name is on the news. And he said to me, Sir, thank you for ensuring that my family name is not lost. The glory did not disappear. Whether your fa family was wealthy or not, or rich or not, or influential, there is a glory of every lineage. There is a mantle. Like I used to say before, it is the mantle of the apostle that they turn into native doctors. It, it, is, a, it is a prophetic mantle that they turn into soothsayers. There is a greatness mantle. Because God told Abraham, through your seed, every nation of the earth shall be blessed. Tomorrow is the restoration of family dignity and glory. Gather your brothers, your sisters, your loved ones, anywhere they are. Everybody cannot be struggling and only one person is successful. Others can succeed. And there are places where there is nobody at all. All everybody's on the floor. Rescue, rescue of family, glory, and destiny. It's a family deliverance night. We will deal brutally with altars. Inform your friends and loved ones, and let all your brothers and sisters anywhere they are in the world. What I said just now, there are people who are in New York now, seeing their seeing themselves in uh, Nonya or Kigwe. Seeing themselves in Isia Langwa. They are seeing themselves in uh, the correct eh? The correct answer. They are seeing themselves in Agbo. Umunege. Worry. But that is the end. Tonight, by the power of this communion, what is not of God is flushed out. In the name of the Father and of the Son. Now the Holy Ghost. Go ahead and take it. Celebration.
Lift up your hands everywhere you are. Father, thank you. Adonai, thank you. Elion, thank you. Go and receive the double visitation. The walking of the power of the blood of Jesus and the body and the ministry of angels tonight. You wake up tomorrow with bountiful testimonies. Hallelujah. Registration is aggressively on in London, England. Um, step by step guide on how to register for the glory conference. Please let's put this on tomorrow night. Uh, sorry, put this on on all our touch points because some people are unaware of how to go about it. And then also we have a, cl a, a, a clue as to how if you if you finally cannot know how to register uh, one or two of our people, you can uh, have a contact where you can contact our people. The contact details are on the screen on how they can assist you to register in case you can't register by yourself. Now, the registration, the seats are, you know, they are not all been exhausted. Remaining a portion that they just opened up recently. So, just rush for it and ensure. But I tell people, if by the time eventually you, you realize that there was no seat because all the seats are taken up. Still come for the conference. Two things can happen. We can organize an alternative um, uh, um, overflow facility where we can transmit. Number two, there may be one or two people we experienced such in Houston. Where one or two people who registered, but for one reason or the other, couldn't come. And then their space will be available. So ensure that you don't let anything stop you from coming. And we believe that God shall give you, give us victory in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you in Jesus' precious name. Say a louder amen. 2024 and above only. Where is your place? And above only. God bless you. Let's celebrate the King of Kings. Hey.